Hello students, my name is Alok Semwal and I am working as an associate professor, pharmaceutical chemistry, Himachal Institute of Pharmacy, Ponta Sahib. Today, I am going to talk about few important terms related to ultraviolet visible spectroscopy. So the first term is chromophore. As the name suggests, chrome means color and four means group. So chromophore represents any group which produces color. But according to an modern definition, any isolated covalently bonded group that shows a characteristic absorption in the ultraviolet or visible region can be called as chromophore. Now this definition suggests that these groups can absorb in either ultraviolet or visible region. If the group absorbs in ultraviolet region, it will not impart any color to compound. But if it shows characteristic absorption in visible region, it will impart color to compound. Now few examples of chromophore include C double bond C and C double bond O containing groups. There are two types of chromophores. First, the groups which contain pi electrons and undergo pi to pi antibonding transitions. Second one, the groups which contain both pi and n electrons and undergo n to pi antibonding and pi to pi antibonding transitions. Pi electrons are found in double bonded and triple bonded compounds. For example, acetylene and ethylene. Now n electrons are found in the compounds having ketonic and aldehyde groups. Now groups which contain pi electrons have transition probability of pi to pi antibonding transitions where pi is the ground state and pi antibonding is the excited state. Now groups which contain pi and n electrons have the transition probability n to pi antibonding and pi to pi antibonding. Now here a question arises why compounds containing sigma electrons are not in types of chromophores. Now compounds containing sigma electrons are the compounds having single bonds. They undergo sigma to sigma antibonding transitions where sigma is the ground state and sigma antibonding is the excited state. Now because these transitions will show absorption in the vacuum UV region around 150 to 190 nanometer there will not be presence of any kind of chromophores within them. Now chromophoric structures and wavelength. These are examples of few chromophores. First type of chromophore in this table is carbonyl group. Carbonyl group shows characteristic wavelength absorption at 280 nanometer. Second one is azo. Azo group show characteristic absorption wavelength at 262 nanometer. Nitro group at 270 nanometer. Thioketone at 330 nanometer. Nitrile at 230 nanometer. Conjugated diene 233 nanometer. Conjugated triene 268 nanometer. Conjugated tetraene 315 nanometer. And benzene at 261 nanometer. Now next important term is oxochrome. Oxochrome is a color enhancing group. Now according to a modern definition, oxochrome is defined as any group which does not itself act as a chromophore but whose presence 
brings about a shift of the absorption band towards the red end of the spectrum which is the longer wavelength region so according to this definition oxochrome itself does not impart any color but this shifts the absorption maximum toward the longer wavelength and that's how they helps in producing colors now when oxochromes are combined with chromophore a new chromophore generates the effect is due to its ability to extend the conjugation of a chromophore by sharing the non bonding electrons now we will try to understand the role of oxochrome now in this example you can see the structure of benzene and aniline benzene shows absorption wavelength at 255 nanometer while the wavelength for aniline is 280 nanometer 255 nanometer is shorter wavelength side while the 280 nanometer is the longer wavelength side now in this example nh2 acts as an oxochrome and because of the involvement of this nh2 with this benzene ring the absorption shifts towards the longer wavelength side which is 280 nanometer now the chromophore not only shifts the value of wavelength but it also have a different value of molar extinction coefficient which is emax now in this example the emax value for benzene is 203 while the emax value for aniline is 1430 examples of oxochrome include oh or ns2 nhr nr2 and sh groups now next is types of shifts in ultraviolet visible spectroscopy There are four types of shifts in ultraviolet visible spectroscopy. First is bathochromic shift. Second one is hypsochromic shift. Third is hyperchromic effect and fourth is hypochromic effect. Now bathochromic shift is also known as red shift and it is the shift towards the longer wavelength side. We can also understand this shift by the term that the shift occurs towards the lower energy side now hypsochromic shift is blue shift and this shift is towards the shorter wavelength side shorter wavelength side is higher energy side so hypsochromic shift is the shift towards the higher energy side next one is the hyperchromic effect and it shows increase in the intensity of absorption hypochromic effect is the decrease in intensity of absorption now we will understand types of shifts in ultraviolet visible spectroscopy by this diagram the diagram shows a ultraviolet spectrum a ultraviolet spectrum contains two parameters the first one at the y axis is molar extinction coefficient second parameter is at the x axis and it is wavelength now this peak denotes absorption wavelength for any compound now this is the main reason of absorption which is indicated by a high intensity peak now if the peak shifts towards the longer wavelength side 
means towards this side the shift is known as bathochromic shift now if this maximum intensity peak shifts towards the shorter wavelength side which is this side the shift is known as hypsochromic shift now increase in the intensity of the absorption shows hyperchromic shift and decrease in the intensity of absorption shows hypochromic shift as we discussed earlier bathochromic shift is the red shift and in this case the absorption is shifted towards the longer wavelength side the shift occurs due to change of solvent or presence of oxochrome for example end to pint bonding transition for carbonyl compounds experiences pathochromic shift when the polarity of the solvent is decreases second shift is hypsochromic shift and it is also known as blue shift the shift is towards the shorter wavelength side blue shift occurs due to the change of solvent towards higher polarity or removal of conjugation now we will understand removal of conjugation now in case of aniline there are three double bonds while a partial conjugation occurs due to the conjugation of the lone pair of electron of nitrogen with this benzene ring so total number of conjugation in this aniline will be 4 while in acidic solution this ns2 group changes into ns3 group that's why this partial conjugation of the lone pair of electrons with benzene ring will be no more so there will be three conjugations so this change in conjugation or removal of conjugation caused this hypsochromic shift next one is hyperchromic shift hyperchromic shift is shift due to increase in intensity of absorption in this case emax value increases due to the introduction of oxochrome here in this example you can see the structure of pyridine pyridine is having absorption wavelength at 257 nanometer while the emax value is 2750 now introduction of one ch3 group into the pyridine structure generates its derivative 2 methyl pyridine and because of this introduction of ch3 group the wavelength of absorption shifts to 262 nanometer and emax value shifts to 3560 now this increase in emax value is due to the introduction of this methyl group now the last type of shift is hypochromic shift hypochromic shift occurs due to decrease in intensity of absorption introduction of any group to the compounds which is going to alter the molecular pattern of the compound results in hypochromic shifts now in this example biphenyl compound is having absorption wavelength at 250 nanometer while the emax value is 19000 now in case of 2 methyl biphenyl the absorption wavelength is 237 nanometer and the emax value is 10250 now the shift of emax value from higher 
to lower side cause the hypochromic shift the main reason of this shift is the introduction of this methyl group introduction of this methyl group caused the alteration of the molecular pattern of the compound which resulted in hypochromic shift thank you